A&M and the let's talk about Texas A&M and them Canes. We got the Miami Hurricanes feeling like they're back for the fifth time in the last 15 for the fifth time in the last 10 years. You know, because I don't know how many times we're going to keep saying the Canes are back, bro. No, the Canes aren't back. You're not recruiting people from day. You're not recruiting people from um, Little Havana anymore. You're not recruiting people from um, what is it? Uh, Liberty City. You're not recruiting people from the hood no more. You're just not doing that anymore. That's not Miami football. Okay. So Miami has to go and use their tradition and use who they who they were to really bring in players and bring in old alumni to actually get these players excited about coming here. And they have found themselves a good group because they have a coach in place that's stable. So with all that, Texas A&M comes into this game. You know that everybody's going to be really confident in Texas A&M because it's early in the season, and Texas A&M is seen as a team that's supposed to be much better this year. Their recruiting class, their NIL money called for them to be a top 15 team, top 10 team in the nation. That still has not happened. So that's why they're sitting at number 23 right now. They had a game last week where it was literally patty cake, patty cake, but they still even had an issue getting getting through that game. Miami, on the other hand, they had to go against a team in Miami of Ohio that, yes, they were there to get beat, but still, Miami of Ohio is going to be one of the better teams in the MAC, and they beat them by 20 points. So with that, I feel like in this game, you can go ahead and do either or. If you trust the spread a bit more like I do because you don't know what's going to happen in the end part of this game except for possibly uh, it coming down to a field goal, then, yeah. But I'm taking a little bit of insurance, so just in case Miami loses a close game, we can still cash this ticket. But I do like Miami with the plus three and a half. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it shakes out, and we move forward from there. All right. Now we have ourselves our next game, which is going to be pretty much the top 25 game of the week in a sense. Uh, well, one of them, because you got two 